Oh, this looks so good. I cannot wait to eat. Ooh. Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Here's my breakfast. Kind of like a brunch in between breakfast, in between lunch. Today's shout out for patrons goes to Daniel Johnson. Thank you very much. Fred Cornelius. Thank you very much. Josh Zilli. Thank you very much. Matthias Rice. Thank you very much. And Robert Gessman. Thank you very, thank you all very, very much for supporting me. All right, what are we having for breakfast? What's in stock? Coffee smoothie. Mmm, so good. And hash browns. Just shredded potatoes cooked on a pan with ketchup. So good. Oh, I think I love food too much. I just... Later on today, we're actually maybe going to go to something which only happens once a year. They only do it once a year for a couple of days out of the year. There's going to be like a carnival, rodeo, so they, are, they do it every year, but I've never actually gone to it. I may go to, may go to it this year, so there's different rides, I think there's haunted houses, I think there's like a rodeo. If I do go, I would just take one camera, my G7X, I wouldn't take a backpack or anything because I don't want to have to worry about all my stuff, all my belongings, because it's probably somewhat dark, there's lots of people going all over lots of places, I don't want to have lots, too much stuff. That's what we may be doing later on today, but that wouldn't be until, until nighttime. And you know, last night, or I've actually thought about this in the, in the past a lot, and how much eyes, our eyes, fascinate me. And I think the reason they fascinate me so much is because they're like super awesome cameras. If you think about it, it's like a super high-tech camera. There's no camera that's man-made that even comes anywhere close to an eye. Like, obviously an eye can't do stuff like zoom way in, like a telephoto lens or something. But the fact that in like super dark, super low light, like our guys can still see somewhat, whereas maybe with a camera it would maybe look really grainy, or just, it's crazy. And the fact that our eyes, I mean, I don't know, eyes just fascinate me so much. They're so cool. Like, if you've ever hurt your eye, maybe with like, you get like a, something irritating it, eyes can he like heal and regenerate themselves super quickly. Like, if maybe you scratch, if sometimes if you, can, if you scratch your eye a little bit, your eye will heal that super quickly compared to maybe if you were to get a scratch or like a cut on your arm or something like that. I mean, look at how cool eyes look. Like, look, it's, it's so fascinating to me. Like, they're so, eyes are just such a strange thing. So cool. So cool. Uh, one segundo. There we go. Alrighty then, now it's time to start heading over to the rodeo carnival. It's, the sun's gonna be setting real soon, but not quite yet, so we'll have time to get there. It is a bit ways away. Now, I'm not gonna be taking my backpack because, like I said earlier, there's a lot of people. If I wanna go on rides, I can't have a backpack with me. I'm all about, like, always taking my backpack just in case. But there's very few, there's few times, very rarely where I, there I just cannot take it because I don't wanna have to leave my bag, like, okay, Hey, can you watch my bag? I'm gonna leave you right here and go on this ride and then come back and my bag's gone. I'll be like, oh no, I knew I shouldn't have brought it. So just for some rare times like this, I just can't bring my backpack. And actually, okay, in the past the past few weeks or maybe even from a month ago, this, my camera, my G7X has been having problems. Problems where like it won't focus to my face. So if I cover the screen, I take it off, it wouldn't focus and I'd be over there like tapping on the screen like, come on, focus, focus. Okay. And I never saw anyone say to do this on YouTube, but I just kind of thought of it because I've, I've gone through all the settings in the past. It says reset all camera settings. And I was like, okay, I wonder what this does. Take the SD card out, reset all the settings, put the SD card back in just to make sure it doesn't erase all my footage. And the camera started working so much better. Like, I mean, the quality looks better. Like now it's able to adjust to the different colors from maybe the sun, maybe the shade, so much better. Maybe I'll do this every little while because it's just, it's crazy how much of a difference it made. Like I'm looking at the screen, and I'm like, I feel like I this camera looks like it's brand new. It's 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 honestly good as new. Whoa, there's so much dust right now. The roads are really dusty, hasn't rained in a while. On our way to the carnival. 
lots of dust. Right now our AC is working, which is such a lux luxury. We've gone so long with the AC being broken and not working, so you have to have the windows open if you want to not be pouring in sweat. You just end up pouring in sweat, but it's just so hot out. Like, for one reason it's really hot out, but also mainly because there's so much dust. It's not too good to be breathing in all that dust. Woo, so much dust, so much dust. Are we there yet? No, too well, we're not there yet. All right, guys, we've made it to the rodeo. It's been going on every year, but I, I don't know why. I've never come here, so this time I decided to come stop by for a little while. I'm not sure some people are saying that it's really expensive, and other people saying, no, it's not that expensive, so I guess we'll see. Like, look at how many people are here. There's just rows and rows of cars. Wow. We almost walked right into this barbed wire. Well, it looks looks like there could be some fun rides here. Hopefully they don't get mad at me for sneaking around with the camera. They shouldn't have any problems. I think it'll be all fine. Alright, we're gonna head over to the rodeo and see if there's a, another way to get in. Seems like a pretty serious deal. There's lots of people screaming and stuff. This is one of those special occasions where I put a pair of shoes on because I know there could probably be like broken glass around here and other all types of other sorts. Oh, all right, we are in.
have a headache from all this chaos. Oh my gosh, why is everyone screaming? Yeah, buddy. All right, we just left the rodeo carnival. Oh my gosh, it is so nice to be able to hear what I'm saying because it is there's so many people talking and so much music blasting louder than you can imagine. You can't even hear what you're saying. I couldn't even hear what I was saying. And because of that, I feel like puking, I'm dizzy, I have a headache. But anyway, I mean, it was fun to go and see what the carnival's all about. I mean, it was fun to see what the rodeo's all about. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what they're doing in there is completely right, but you know, it was fun to show up and just see what it's all about and see what's going on. And, I mean, it's kind of fun feeling the energy of so many people just going like, Wah! But I mean, it's very tiring. Like, I, you go there for like one hour and you feel like you've been doing stuff for like two, 20 hours. It's, it's weird, it's weird. All right, hope you enjoyed coming along. Maybe we'll check that out again in the future. But they only come like once a year for maybe one or two weeks. So that's the reason. Just go check it out because next time you get to see it, we'll be in one year. All right, anyways, because I didn't take my phone to the carnival, I don't have my phone with me where I usually have my quotes. So um, we're just gonna have to remember a quote. All right. Kazam! All right, today's positive quote is, the best teachers aren't the ones that show you and tell you the answer. They're the ones that show you the way. What this quote means to me is that the best person, when someone shows you how to do something, the, the, the way that you benefit the most from it is when they don't just be like, when they're not just like, there you go, the 10 times 10 is 100. There, there's the answer. Just, um, and then you're like, how, how do I, how do I figure this out? Like, don't, don't worry about figuring it out. That it's just 100. Just, just remember it's 100. Whereas if someone's like, okay, well, 10 tens, and they didn't just tell you the answer, but they're kind of like guiding you and showing the way, showing you the way. That way, you figure out how to solve that or how to figure something out, and then you'll know how to solve other different problems in the future. So you end up benefiting not just knowing that one answer, that one solution, but you're able to solve more things in the future. All right, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Whew, I am honestly so pooped. That spinning ride at the, at the carnival was insane. It was like this spinning disc that spun so fast. I mean, it was crazy and you could stand up and fall around and who knows what. All right, remember to keep always doing awesome stuff. Oh my gosh, I've lost my voice from screaming so much at the rodeo. Uh, I guess I won't be able to talk for the next couple of days. Remember to keep always doing awesome stuff, and I'll see you tomorrow early in the morning. <laughs>